we're investing a lot of resources and effort in this because we believe there's real potential here, real value. We want to enable these pilots to be as safe as possible. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's been a real benefit to my flying, and like I said, it's just really opened up the opportunity of just utilizing airspace and making it as efficient as possible and just making me feel as safe as possible in the cockpit. There's a challenge there from the standpoint of educating people regarding ADS-B, um, but our experience has been once a pilot gets it, they don't want to give it up because it really is safety enabling technology. Just go on a flight or two with this device, with somebody who has experience and can actually show you what this thing is capable of. Cessna 555 five, five, Delta Sierra, radar contact lost, unable flight following at this time, squawk VFR. Until now, our intrepid pilot was using all of the services available to increase traffic and situational awareness. Unfortunately, even flight following has limitations for the VFR pilot. Traffic advisories are issued on a workload permitting basis and it is not mandatory for air traffic control to advise VFR pilots of impending matters. These advisories may be further limited by ATC radar coverage, especially at lower altitudes. This situation is not uncommon in the northern United States, especially in North Dakota. Now, imagine a system that supplements ATC traffic advisories and makes information available to all equipped aircraft. Both the pilot and ATC would be aware of the Piper Cub operating at 1,500 feet 5 miles ahead, the training aircraft doing maneuvers at 5,300 feet, and the UAS at low altitude in the area. Management of the national airspace system is changing. Primary goals of NextGen include increasing airspace efficiency and capability through the use of global positioning system technology. The FAA is mandating that aircraft flying in certain airspace be equipped with ADS-B by 2020. This airspace includes Class Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and airspace above 10,000 feet MSL. So, what exactly is Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, more commonly referred to as ADS-B? ADS-B is ground and aircraft equipment required to broadcast and share position and altitude information. This information is GPS derived. Once installed, this equipment works automatically to transmit information to ATC and surrounding aircraft with receive capability. This aircraft transmission is known as ADS-B out. With ADS-B in, aircraft receive traffic and weather information, all at the touch of a button on a multi-function display, a GPS unit, or even tablets like the iPad. So now, can pilots rely on this technology to work? There is a big challenge from the standpoint of just, you know, educating people about what it is and what it does. Um, and how it can benefit them. Um, you know, there's always concerns with any kind of new technology, you know, I don't want that, it's not going to work. Um, but, but the reality is tests have shown that it does work. The FAA implemented and studied ADSB effectiveness in Alaska in a project known as Capstone. This study solidified the safety benefits of ADSB. Alaska depends upon aviation and the presence of challenging terrain and ever-changing weather have historically resulted in very high accident rates. Prior to ADS-B implementation, accidents occurred every other day, with a fatality occurring on average every nine days. Once operators became ADS-B equipped, the accident rate dropped by 47%. While not faced with the same challenges as those flying in Alaska, North Dakota pilots encounter limited radar coverage, adverse weather, and an ever-increasing demand on airspace. ADS-B technology has been proven to provide the enhanced situational awareness needed to meet the future demands of the national airspace system. 
In addition to increased safety, the enhanced information regarding air traffic enables controllers to issue more direct routings and make more efficient use of the airspace, especially to those flying IFR at non-towered airports. I feel much safer, much more confident that with that tool I've been actually able to see traffic coming into my area a lot further out than I would have just with the naked eye. And I think by having that actually prevented, you know, a situation where you had a oh my gosh moment and had to quick steer the airplane away. What then constitutes being ADSB equipped? Ultimately, the pilot chooses the level of equipage and associated benefits to suit operational needs. For example, if flying into airspace designated as requiring ADSB, ADSB out capability is the only requirement. This is accomplished with a broadcast using a universal access transceiver or the 1090 extended squitter. Those operating in Class A airspace must broadcast via the 1090 Extended Squitter. To reap the benefits of ADSB in, a display capable of using information received through the ADSB system is required. Multifunction displays and many modern GPS units have this capability. Smaller battery powered receivers are also available and can display this information on tablets and iPads. The main function of ADSB is to provide greater traffic awareness at all altitudes. This increases safety and efficiency for both air traffic control and pilots. With ADSB in, the information provided to air traffic control can also be displayed on the pilot's screen. ADSB aircraft appear along with their altitude and end number. Non-ADSB aircraft also appear in areas covered by TIS-B or Traffic Information System Broadcast. TIS-B may be limited at low altitudes. FIS-B or Flight Information System Broadcast is also available. FIS-B provides access to METARs, TAFs, NEXRAD radar images, PIREPs, AIRMETs, SIGMETs along with winds and temperatures aloft. Special use airspace status and NOTAMs are also available on FIS-B. All of this information is provided without requiring subscriptions or other usage fees. To study and analyze the use of ADS-B within NextGen and its impact on airspace needs, numerous partners have joined forces and resources. Associates in the Limited Deployment Cooperative Aircraft Project are studying the potential use of ADSB data in enabling the safe integration of unmanned aircraft into the national airspace system. With North Dakota poised to be a leader in UAS research and integration, it is critical that effective technologies be explored to accomplish these tasks safely. A major hurdle to UAS operations is a requirement that unmanned systems see and avoid other traffic the same way manned systems do. Presently, this is accomplished through the use of observers that track unmanned aircraft in surrounding airspace or by simply restricting valuable airspace. These approaches, however, have the potential for serious limitations. As a result, new sea and avoid approaches that enhance safety and function of unmanned aircraft are being studied. As a part of the LDCAP effort, additional aircraft in North Dakota are being equipped with ADSB units in an effort to gather new information regarding ADSB as a means to see and avoid. Recently, LDCAP partners tested and demonstrated sense and avoid capabilities using ADSB. Using a surrogate UAS, in this case a manned Cirrus SR-22 flying under automated controls, ADSB data was used by an automated system to successfully avoid other participating aircraft. 
Further testing is needed in this area, but this demonstration showed that even current technology has significant promise for see and avoid applications. More than ever, pilots and air traffic controllers are relying on the proven technology of satellite navigation systems. Integrating information from these systems is the very backbone of NextGen. By 2020, pilots operating in designated airspace will be required to have ADS-B out systems. Today, the benefits of ADS-B in systems are realized by operators across North Dakota. It is the goal of LDCAP and its partners to further these benefits and provide safe, efficient airspace through dynamic and comprehensive research. To learn more about NextGen and the ADS-B Advantage, follow the information on your screen now.